I am tired of making sad videos. I want to do something more upbeat and fun. I want to. Feels like over the past month or so that it's just been consistently sad stuff. But I think this is an important show to do, and I hope that uh, I hope that it brings you some kind of you know understanding about the situation or just solidarity and understanding uh, the situation. So anyway, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Justin T. Weller Show on True Chat Broadcasting from Cincinnati, Ohio in Studio 2B. I'm Justin Weller and it is exciting to be here with you guys today. I don't know if exciting is the right word. I'm glad that I get to be here with you guys today. Um, it has been a really tough week. As the title uh, of the video does point out, uh, we're talking a little bit about suicide today, and this situation hit very close to home for me this past week. Uh, I've talked in previous videos uh, before about, particularly the one entitled um, Fly to Florida for Love, Past Relationships, uh, who I was with before Brett, and I got a call this, I missed a call and um, a text this past Wednesday morning uh, from, from who Marcelo was with at the time and his husband actually. And the text said, I need you to call me, it's urgent. So I called him and he said, he's gone and I just, I mean, I knew exactly what he meant. I knew that, you know, that meant Marcelo had taken his own life. Um, and it was just, I don't know, I guess it didn't really feel real to start with, and it probably doesn't for most people. I don't know if it still feels real, and that was on Wednesday. I don't know if I've really come, you know, to terms with all of that yet. So, I think the first thing is just kind of the the shock of it. Like I always knew it was a possibility because uh, he was pretty volatile in a lot of ways in terms of just very, you know, if he did something, uh, he really did it. And uh, that was with everything that he did, whether it was in his relationships with the people he loved, whether that was in his work, whether that was in uh, just his personal life. That's kind of, it's kind of how he lived and how he went about life was living it to the fullest in every aspect. Um, so I was just, you know, I was taken aback to hear it because it was kind of setting in. One of the things that's easy to do when something like this happens is you find ways to blame yourself. And I mean, I think a lot of you, you know, probably know, and I don't think it's too far-fetched to say that I'm a somewhat smart guy, you know, I'm not a complete idiot. Uh, so I, you know, I'm smart enough to, to know that that's not what you should do. And I think plenty of people are, they're smart enough to realize, you know, it's not actually my fault. But in these situations that sometimes, you know, you don't feel like logic is the one dictating what's happening. So it's easy for me to draw parallels to us having spoken no less than two weeks ago and him talking about how, uh, you know, he wanted to talk and he wanted to explain why, you know, he should get a second chance with me and, and that type of thing. Um, and me saying no and me explaining that I'm happy with who I'm with and I know that he's not doing well but you know um, I'll do everything I can to help him without you know being with him uh, it's easy to draw conclusions of you know I said no and now two weeks later or less than two weeks later he took his own life and we haven't spoken since then um, but at the same time there's so many things that happened since then and it would be kind of selfish to assume that that is, you know, this, the thing that led to it. My guess is it was a culmination of things over several years. Um, he was fighting with a lot of issues, like most people are. Uh, I was more privy to him than a lot of people. Um, and I know that, you know, uh, his husband was as well. And I felt very fortunate that since Marcelo and I, had broken up, he had found somebody um, who really cared for him 
with all of his heart. Not that I didn't, but just somebody who could take care of him, um, you know, and who I felt like did a good job of uh, making sure he was okay. And because of a number of things, they weren't, uh, you know, location-wise in the same area uh, when this happened. So I, I know how hard it's been for me. I know how hard it's been on Brett. And that's something else that I think uh, people forget too is sometimes it's hard on people who didn't even know the person because they watch somebody like me go through it and it's hard. It's hard for Brett because he sees how much I cared about, um, you know, Marcelo. And, and I think that all of that is just stuff to take into account. It's, it's really hard because there are moments where I catch myself feeling really strongly a certain way, like I want to just, you know, cry or scream or whatever. And because I've been so busy, I really haven't even had this much time to sit down and, you know, focus on just this. Uh, he was he was a huge part of my life for several months uh, last year, you know, at, in January, so over, you know, over a year and a half ago. But um, he's, the other thing that I want to communicate is, because this, I, you know, I don't, hopefully this is a video where you feel like you're getting something out of it so that if you go through something similar, you can watch and understand that it's normal to be feeling the way that you're feeling. Uh, confused or to feel like I did. I posted a picture on Instagram the other day uh, saying I feel colorless um, because I do. I kind of, I don't know how to feel. I don't, you know, there's moments of those intense emotions but they come and go and they're fleeting. Um, so it's kind it's really hard to know. It's really hard to figure that out and I know that his husband feels awful as I'm sure I would um, but I do think that everybody has to think about how it affects the people closest to the person, and maybe that's who you are, um, and also those that are connected to the people that are close to them, uh, because they have to watch their loved ones figure out how to, how to come to terms with this. And the other thing that I want to say is, I, I just, I wish it would go without saying that I think there are so many ways to take care of a problem that just they don't have to be that they don't have to be you know taking your own life uh, in order to in order to uh, not feel pain anymore there are always people out there and you might feel like you're alone and I think that that's partly how Marcelo felt and you might feel like there's no hope um, but there is, and there always is, and that, if people can't hold on to hope, then I don't really know what the point in living is, because the only reason that I can wake up and do True Chat every day and, and talk to you guys and talk about politics, which is a mess, uh, and there's so much negative stuff going on, is because I can see that what I am doing can have a positive impact. Um, I actually just got contacted by a fan this past week one of you guys and it was just it was neat to tell that I was doing something that mattered and it gave me a little bit of hope um, and to have been contacted this past week by that person meant a lot too because it was just it was just coincidental timing I'm sure but um, nonetheless you know just to help to to feel like okay I am I matter to somebody and I know I matter to Brad and my family and you know, but I'm glad that I can see that I'm doing something for you guys because that's what that's what I live to do for True Jet is to try to you know make the world a little bit better by sharing what I think about it and explaining to people why it matters to them and that there is always an opportunity to make it better, always. Uh, you have to choose to, and it can be hard, it can be tough. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. I've said before, I've, I went through counseling um, and I'm not ashamed of that. It did definitely help me understand more about myself with it, which allowed me to better deal with some of the problems that I face. And I think we all have those problems. So don't ever think that you're 
beyond or above or maybe not worthy of getting help because uh, you can and you should. And there's a number of free resources out there, there's a number of paid resources out there, but just find somebody and talk to them and share your concerns, communicate with others. Uh, if you're feeling this way, I don't think I don't think it's the answer because I think you're going to hurt people more than you would have wanted to. And I know it's easy to say you're not going to care because you're gone, uh, and I don't want to get into you know a religious discussion on this topic. But I think that what you have to think about is the pain you are going to cause the people that care about you, because it causes an immense amount of pain, uh, especially for somebody when they're this young, not chronically ill, you know, um, it causes a lot of pain to those of us who are close to somebody who took their life. And it causes a lot of colorlessness, if that's a word. Um, it causes a lot of people to not know how to feel, to not know what to do. It causes people to fight. It causes misunderstanding. So really think about it. Um, you know, if you're contemplating this, I would urge you not to ever take your own life because I think there's always an answer and it doesn't have to be that one. Uh, but really, really try to remember when you're down low, uh, you can pretty much always find somebody who cares about you. Um, and if you can't think of anybody, then I care about you. And I really do. I, that may sound crazy because, you know, there's hundreds or thousands of you that watch um, that watch me and listen to me, uh, whether it's on this video or on True Chat's website where you can listen to the podcasts and me talk about politics and all kinds of stuff, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not that crazy to think that I care about you guys, because I do, because you're listening to what I have to say. You care about me uh, and what my thoughts are, so I care about you too, and if you're a new viewer, great. Um, I care about you also. So, you know, if you're struggling with something like this, don't be afraid to reach out to somebody. Um, reach out in the comment section. Reach out, uh, you know, to me or just somebody. Uh, you'd be surprised. A lot of people are usually willing to hop in and help. Anyway, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this week's video. Um, I thought about doing more of a video to commemorate Marcelo, but. I don't think I could make it through that video very well, so I would like to say that I dedicate this video to him. Uh, he was definitely a special person to me, and he definitely helped me discover part of who I am. Um, and I'm very, very thankful for who I'm with now. I wouldn't, I would not go back, um, you know, and change things to have stayed with Marcelo instead of Brett. Uh, but I do think that he was an important chapter in my life. And he certainly touched me, and I know he touched a lot of other people, so uh, it's very hard for him to be gone. But I'm headed to the funeral this next week, and um, I will report back on some of that stuff next week in next week's video. And if you guys like this video, uh, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, and even if you weren't a big fan of this video, if you want to help commemorate Marcelo, please give it a thumbs up as well. Uh, I appreciate it, and and I guess that's it. I don't know. I Like I said, I'm really tired of doing these sad videos. We're going to do something happy next week, by God. I promise. Um, I don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to do something fun, because this is a bunch of crap. We've been going through these videos that are so darn you know sad every week. I think I'm going to start having guests on, by the way. Um, not every week, but a lot of weeks. I'm going to have somebody on to talk to, uh, you know, and just kind of interview and have fun with on the show so we will try to start that next week and in the meantime as always thank you very much for tuning in to the Justin T. Weller show for True Chat broadcasting from Cincinnati Ohio and Studio 2B I'm Justin Weller thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see you next time on the Justin T. Weller show be the change <laughs>